Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be working on a vintage Cuba cloth pillow with cowrie shells. So here is my inspiration for the pillow. I thought it was absolutely beautiful, but when I saw that it was listed for $465, I figured I should try to DIY this and see if I can get the look for a lot less. So for this project, I'm using a rust colored pillow case that I got from Ikea, as well as cowrie shells, E6000 glue, uh, glass beads that I got from Michaels, and a woven trim that I got in the ribbon section of Joann's Fabrics. I wanted to share this tip with you about how I use the glass beads in my project. Um, for those who have been watching some of my previous videos, but for the glass beads, and I really like Michael's beads because they come in long strands, but I find the top of the beads where it is connected, and then I use E6000 glue, and I'll use something like a toothpick or a pen, and I'll put the E6000 glue on the side of the beads, and make sure that it is dry or tacky before using them. And I find that this helps the beads stay in place while using them, so that way they don't completely fall apart and get all over. Although there will be some loose beads, but I'm perfectly fine with that because in this project, you'll see I kind of use some of the string that the beads are connected to to kind of weave in between the other beads to help secure the um, beads on the pillowcase. So now I'm going to start laying out the design of this pillowcase and I'm going to be using the E6000 glue to glue the beads down to the pillow and I'm going to be following the sample pillow as a guide for making my pillow design. And it's pretty simple, um, laying out the beads in a crisscross pattern and then gluing the um, cowrie shells onto the beads and then using the trim um, on the pillowcase to kind of give it that authentic look.
I personally love how this pillow came out. I think it is simple, I think it is clean, I think it's elegant, um, the concept is very simple, and I think so far it's probably my second favorite project to date. So I hope that this tutorial was inspirational of something that you can make for yourself. I absolutely love IKEA pillows. I think they are a crafter or DIYer's dream. But if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment. Thank you guys for watching.